So we'll start with something very easy. Again, I'm sketching only incremental circuits right now. Transistor M1. What is the resistance looking up? Let's assume that RDS is infinity. Then R out is equal to 1 by GM. Right? Why is it 1 by GM? Because the moment you connect a test source here, right, the current through this will simply be GM times VT. So the R out is equal to 1 by GM. Now let us assume that RDS is some very large but finite value. Then what is R out? So we have derived this. Can you look at the result and tell me? You can refer to your notes, refer to your friend's notes. What do you get? Gm times Rd, is it? So this is your Rds. If the transistor was not there, what would have been the resistance? Right? If the transistor was off, then you would simply have Rd plus Rds. I mean, incrementally, if no current was flowing through M1, it would have been Rd plus Rds. So you know that it's going to be something to do with this number. Right? What, what is that? Gm Rds. Okay, so the result you are telling me is Gm Rds times 1 plus Gm Rds. Right? So if I just look at this number, what is the dimension of this? So I have gotten a result here. What is the dimension of this? It's dimensionless. Right? What should be the dimension? That of a resistance. So that itself tells you that this result cannot be right. This is Rd plus Rds divided by 1 plus Gm Rds. This is okay. So this is a result that you, we have already derived. So I will not go into the derivation now. But just to rephrase it, this is going to be Rd plus Rds, the whole thing divided by 1 plus the intrinsic gain. Okay? And what approximation can you make if you wanted to simplify this? Right? GMRDS will be much, much greater than 1. So this will simplify to Rd divided by GMRDS plus 1 by GM. Now, depending upon the relative values of G, uh, Rd and GMRDS, you might be able to make further simplifications. Okay, so now let's build on the circuit. I want the R out looking like this. So first, we will assume that RBS is infinity. What is R out? So in this case, when RBS was equal to infinity, what was R out? Yeah. 1 by GM, right? So now, can you tackle this one step at a time and see if you can derive the total R out? 1 by GM1 plus 1 by GM2, right? So the above part has 1 by gm1, okay. So now I could redraw the circuit as 1 by gm1 which is some resistance followed by this transistor, right. So now looking at it, it should be why 1 by gm1 plus because here what was the uh, impedance when RBS was infinity? It was simply 1 by gm1. It was not a function of the resistance on the drain side. Right? So this will simply become equal to 1 by gm2. If your RBS is infinity, what is connected on the drain side doesn't matter provided there is a path for current to flow. Right? If there is no path for current to flow, looking up you will see infinite resistance. But if there is a path for the current to flow, then the value of that resistance doesn't matter. This simply becomes 1 by gm2. Ah, 
Why is VGS equal to 0? Drain side is 0, gate side is 0, so side need not be 0. Drain and source are interchangeable. Okay. Uh, can you take the argument further? Okay. Huh. I understand. So let me explain something and then you tell me whether uh, this clarifies your question. Right. So anytime I, we have a MOSFET, right, we will assume that it has been biased with these potentials, right. How it is biased, we know how to bias it. You can use a resistor divider, you could connect a current source, etc. Right. So let us say somehow I have biased these potentials here, right. And on top of this, I give some small signal VG, some small signal VD and some small signal VS, okay. Now I can sketch the incremental circuit for it where this is simply gm times vgs this is your small signal vg this is your small signal v drain and this is your small signal v source okay as long as your total voltage here is greater than the total voltage here the source and the drain for the mosfet are now fixed right once the source and the drain are fixed you sketch this incremental model based on that so we don't think about drain source switching solely based on the incremental model, right? You need to first make sure what your drain is, what your source is by looking at the total voltages. And this is mostly going to be dependent on what the bias voltages are because the other parameters are small signals, right? So you determine which is your drain, which is your source, then you sketch the incremental circuit based on that. Now only in the incremental circuit, we don't worry about whether the uh, drain, small signal increments of the drain is smaller or greater than the small signal increments of the source. Okay. That answers your question. Okay. okay. So the next part of this question is RDS is some finite number. Can you give me the expression for R out? Okay, so 1 by GM1, parallel RBS1, huh. so answer is correct. So can you tell me what would be this resistance first? Looking up, earlier it was 1 by GM1, what happens now? So this is your RBS1, is it just RBS1 or is there something else? So the circuit I have asked you now is? This is grounded, this is RDS1, what is the resistance looking up? So you are saying RDS1 divided by 1 plus GM RDS1, right? What is the intuition behind this expression? GM parallel? Okay. So if I connect a test source here, Right. What is the current through this? This is GMVT and this is whatever is VT by RDS1. Right. Now, for this transistor, its gate and drain are at the same potential. Right. If the gate and drain of a transistor is connected, shorted together, what did we call that transistor as? Diode connected transistor. What is the equivalent resistance, equivalent model of a diode connected transistor? Right. So, this becomes 1 by GM1. Right? So now looking up, your resistance is simply 1 by GM1 parallel RDS1. Right? Can you see this? So this resistance is now 1 by GM1 parallel RDS1. Now can you tell me the full expression for R out? So the resistance that you see on the drain side plus the resistance connected between the drain and source of M2 divided by 1 plus the intrinsic gain of M2. Any questions? 
let's move on to the last circuit in the sequence. We have some Rb, M1, M2, the resistance looking up. We'll do the first part together. RBS is infinity. What is R out? Simply equal to 1 by Gm. Now, RBS is some finite number. Tell me the expression for R out. What do you get? So, I'll start by looking. So, from here, it's anyways just an RB. There is no confusion. So, when I look up from here, what is the resistance I get? That will be RD plus, so you have RDS1 here and RDS2 here. So, this will be RD plus RDS1 divided by 1 plus gm1 into rds1 right so now my circuit simplifies to this value of the resistance followed by m2 okay so then looking up r out will be whatever is the resistance on the drain side which is rd plus rds1 divided by 1 plus gm1 rds1 plus rds2 divided by 1 plus gm2 rds2 